Hey, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I'm back again with another Dollar Tree haul, y'all. And I am excited. I found some wish list items that I've been hunting for, and let's get started. Please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you once again for sharing this journey with me. So, I broke it down into categories, and the first category I wanna jump right into is the arts and crafts. If you're into arts and crafts, the Dollar Tree has an amazing selection. They are awesome. They've stepped up their game in the last few years. They've got wood pieces. They've got um, that galvanized metal. They've got paints. They got canvases, you name it, they've got it. But this particular set of items that I'm about to show you is ones that I wanted to get when they came out months back, but I guess everybody bought them up and I didn't get, I honestly just didn't buy them. I wasn't thinking, I don't really know what I'd want to do to them. And then something, an idea came to my head and I said, oh, if I see those, I'm going to use those for this particular thing. Well, months passed, it didn't happen. So from another haul, I um, had put this down on my wish list and we're going to start off with this, these three items. These are wood boxes, pretty sturdy wood boxes with a clasp on them. And yes, they're each individual boxes. There's this size, this little small doozy here, and you can put little trinkets in it. And then you have your medium one, same thing, heavy little boxes. These aren't little flimsy things that they're gorgeous. They're great centerpieces. I'm gonna use them for a, a design I made up for my master bedroom, bath kind of sort of thing to put things in it. And then you have the the kind of the larger one, the, the largest of them all, these are the three sizes. And they have this cool little clasp on there. They're made by the um, Greenbrier brand, of course. And yeah, these were some of my wish list items that I finally found and I snapped them up because I knew they were gonna be gone. And they're, I'm gonna use these for multiple things. I mean, I'm going to use them for different seasonal things and seasonal ideas that I have, and I'm going to use them in my master bath. And yeah, this is like a really great find for me, and I'm just tickled to death about that. Again, also in the arts and crafts, another thing, um, I'm start. I do things artsy. I'm not the most craftiest person in the world, but when I do come up with an idea, um, it's good to have these kind of gadgets right here. Um, I thought this was just pretty cool. It was by Crafter Square. It's wood carve. It's a wood carving set, and it has all these different um, shapes to cut things with. And it tells you here on the back, you know, what different things you can do. Um, but yeah, I thought, hey, if I'm gonna really start trying to do things and and do these organization things, and maybe try some of these crafts that I see on the Dollar Tree websites, I said I need these, and I, I thought these were pretty cool. It's basically a quarter of a piece. You get four of them. Um, they feel pretty heavy. When I open them up and use them, I'll let you know. But again, they have um, different shapes and sizes. One's for engraving, one's a round blade, triangle blade, and a flat blade. Um, awesome, 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 awesome buy for $1. And I will be putting these to use. Hopefully you'll see some of the things I create um, when it gets closer to the holidays, they're coming up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, then one last thing in the craft section, which I thought was pretty cool, were these um, disposable over sleeves. Basically, you you know, if you have long sleeves or you can just put them on your arms, right, you know, and when you do the arts and crafts, I guess, and they basically cover your clothing and your arms in case you, you know, have splashes or paint or whatever. I thought this was pretty cool. Had to have it. It's also by Crafter Square, and it has four pairs. So I'm assuming that's eight, because you have two arms. So eight pieces here for $1. Um, definitely gonna try this, and I'll demonstrate this. It's probably one of my demonstrations. Thought it was a cool idea. Um, yeah, they're called disposable over sleeves. And you might could use them for multiple things. Maybe men who, you know, maybe when they're changing oils and don't oil in the vehicles or something, don't wanna get oil on your car, oil from the car on you. This is pretty cool. I thought it was anyway. All right, that's the arts and crafts. Let's move on to cosmetics, beauty, health, and stuff like that. This one here was a pretty good find. I am not the most knowing of this herbal essence stuff, but this is a volume. It's white grapefruit and mosa mint. 
um, in the shower foam conditioner. Um, I color my hair, so my hair can be pretty, pretty dry. Um, I need some type of conditioner. Um, I usually try to put um, leave-in conditioner, but sometimes it weighs my hair down, especially when it gets long and it needs to have, I need a haircut. So I went ahead and decided I would try. I just got one of these. It's a pretty good size bottle. It's a um, six ounce. Um, it's great packaging. It, you know, it gives you little demonstrations of what you want to use. I mean, how to use it. And it's a name brand. It's Herbal Essence. Um, pretty good size. Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to work or if it is going to be a good product. Um, but I believe it will be. It looks like it's going to be nice. And yeah, that was for $1. I'll be trying that out soon. Then something I have used and put on my hair um, is this Garnet fruitus, I think that's how you say that. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that. Um, natural look liquid cream. And basically it helps the flyaways. It kind of holds your hair. It's like a smoothing cream almost. Um, I only get one of them because this will last me a long, long, long time. It's um, 4.2 fluid ounces. Um, but yeah, this would last me months and months. I mean, because you only use like a, a small little pea size of it when you use it. But I thought, you know, hey, when I first found these, I bought a couple of them and I still am going at them. And finally, I ran out of them and I saw this and I said, let me go ahead and pick up another one because I'm going to wind up not having it. This is also a great buy. And then last, well, for makeup, I guess, or and, and cosmetic-y kind of things, I um, found this Maybelline. These are Maybelline, which is the brand name Maybelline, Master Camo um, uh, makeup pens. Basically, they help with, you know, the circles under your eyes. I definitely need that because I have dark circles all the time. And when I saw it was Maybelline, I said, you know what, I'll, I'll try. I don't really like to put different types of makeup on my face. But when it comes to a name brand, I've used Maybelline over the years. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, I went ahead and got two of them because I probably will never see them again. I got that upside down. But yeah, these are pretty cool um, to try. And I hope that they work. And I'll let you know how they are. Um, then... Also something that I wasn't sure I was gonna buy it, but I, I went ahead and, and did it. I have not tried it out yet. Um, I'm going to try it out sooner or later. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick up this electric um, nail kit, okay? And you see how it's got the, it's by Sassy and Cheek, which is a great brand for, from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's, it's very heavy, it's not a, a cheap one. And it has these different um, attachments that you can stick in here. And basically it says it's for acrylic or natural nails. And you know, I ha I've had both in my lifetime. I pretty much keep mine natural now and I'll get a manicure every once in a while. Um, but yeah, it says you can use it for your nails and your toenails for manicures and pedicures. And it was just one of these little impulse buys. I'll go ahead and say it because it could, some of these products sometimes do really, really great. And sometimes they don't do very well at all. And again, it has um, the different types of attachments, how to go about using them. And I will be trying this out and see if I can um, keep up with my nails and my and maybe even my toes soon, you know, with this product. We'll see, I'll let you know. And then last but not least in the cosmetic part, part of this category for this Dollar Tree haul <laughs> is a, a childhood nostalgic item. And when I saw it, I was like, there, there is no way that they have these little things there. But guys, do you remember um, back in the day, I'm not going to age it here, but back in the 80s, 90s, the caboodle. Okay, now this is a tiny one. It, it, it's almost like a fishing tackle box, but it's, it's in that turquoise color that I just seem to be really at, attracting these days. Um, it's very mini. It's like a mini caboodle. And it, you know, I, it came in a pink and it came in this turquoise kind of bluish. Um, it doesn't have any trays in it like the caboodles because they used to have those that lift up and all that. But it was $1 and it, and it you know, I could start storing stuff in there. Um, I'll probably put that pedicure um, thing I just showed you in here, the manicure pedicure electric nail file and stick that in here with some cotton pads and probably some um, fingernail polishes, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it for makeup. I could come up with a million different things to fit stuff in here. I only got this one, um, had to get it. Um, it really brought me back to my childhood. 
and I loved caboodles back in the day and this is gonna be awesome. I know it is. Can't wait to start putting stuff in it. Okay, and then I had one item from the pet department. Um, they don't really have a lot of things. Our One of our dogs is a bull massive and it's she's huge. She's a human and a half to me. So the toys there and things like that don't always, you know, fit her personality. And, you know, the snacks there, she can bite them in one second and they're gone. Um, but I did find this, and this was a recommendation from someone at my work. Um, they basically said, you know, get this. It doesn't have any of that rawhide in there. Um, and it'll take them a while. They'll love it. They'll chew it. It'll take time. So it is called this water buffalo dog chew. And it's humongous. You can see it's the size of my head. And um, it's made by Nature's Corner. And it is just one piece. And this is a treat. This isn't something, you know, I'm going to buy every day and give to, to her, to our um, Bull Massive. Her name is Shirley. Um, that's a whole nother story. But, um, yes, yeah, she um, loves these things. And she'll take them and she'll, she'll sit down with them and she'll hold them in her little paws. And it takes her a minute to get through these when we get them. So, if I see them and I see the big ones, because sometimes they have them and they're not so big. But this one's gigantic. It is worth the dollar and it'll be a special treat for her, you know, like on the weekends when she's been good all week. And, um, yeah, this is $1. So that's the only thing I got in the pet department this, this haul. So moving right along, I have been, um, kind of putting things together with the way the world is and all that. I just put things together for like emergencies. Um, my, I don't know about in your town, but in my area, the power has been tripping constantly and it's almost to the point of being annoying and then it'll come right back. it'll go off it'll come right back on but the bottom line is it's always um back on well a couple weeks back it went off around 9 p.m it didn't come back on till 1 a.m and i knew then you know it's time to probably have some more s secure things close to me that i can have when these, this happens because it's it doesn't feel good when you're stuck in the dark but i had bought um, different candles and things like that and had it. But when I saw this at the Dollar Tree, um, I said to myself, I am going to buy these for the next time this power outage happens. And I'm going to make sure that I have some kind of lights. And it's these little lanterns and you can do them in different ways. They're, you know, they got the battery things where you unscrew it at the bottom down here. And, um, it has a strong light. I'll turn it on here in a minute. I hope I don't mess up. And it has these little prongs if you want to turn it upside down and hold it upside down. It's just an awesome little thing. This is called an LED lantern. And it's made, I believe, by, if I'm not mistaken, Greenbrier. Um, did I get one without a bottom on it? Yeah, here's we go. Yeah, Greenbrier. Greenbrier products. And let me see. If I put batteries in one of them. Yeah, it was this one. So it has that light where you turn right here, the little circle thing. I don't know if you can see it. And then I turn the light on a little bit and then it goes a little bit brighter and brighter. And then now it's real bright. And I don't know how that looks on camera and I'm sorry if it's bad, but I wanted you to see that this is not a joke. This is actually really bright. And I turned it off, went in a dark closet, made sure it was pitch black and turned this on and I could see everything in there. And it wasn't that overcast how you get when, when you're carrying like a candle that's burning down with wax that puts off heat. This is pretty bright. And I got several of these um, to put in each room. Now they do take batteries. Um, you know, I buy the Dollar Tree Sunbeam batteries and I keep them all over the place um, to in case I need them. So I just basically have a few in some of these and then I have some battery um, that haven't been opened close to them. So if the power goes out and it stays out for a while, at least we'll have several of these to um, be able to see, you know, not feel so, in the dark okay so this was a great buy on that and i had bought a couple of those then i had been seeing these in other people's hauls and i looked and looked and looked and looked and looked for them and finally i found them it's the quick survive and basically it's these little packets which it says it has um three fire starters um lights any fire fast and um, it says it will burn up, it says uh, burns up to 10 minutes and up to 750 degrees. Wow. Okay, so yeah, there's three of these and hopefully, and it says it has a 30 year shelf life. I mean, I didn't know that when I saw it. 
I just picked them up because I knew if something happened and we lost power and hey, we had to have some kind of way to get some fire started, I wouldn't be able to make a fire. I'm not a Girl Scout and no, we'd be messed up. So I'm hoping I, it never comes to that, but I, I didn't pick up one, but I picked up two. And you know, it, it doesn't hurt to have these. If it's a 30 year shelf life, um, yeah, it's worth a dollar. And you know, it's not gonna go to waste. And I believe it's made by, it says it's made, I believe that's JDS. I don't know what that stands for, but it's just called Quick Survive. And yeah, I really think this is gonna be a great thing and I'm glad that I found it. And that's that. Then, um, back at, it's mo mostly going into household, home goods, bathroom kind of things. I found this and I actually already have one and I have been using it so I can vouch that I know that it works. And it's um, this Dr. Reuter, I think, yeah, Dr. Reuter, um, Hair Cyclone, okay? So it's just this little plug and it's a little bendy thing and it sticks inside your, um, now I know if you have already had the little ones that pop up, it's gonna be hard, but I have a sink or two that basically that thing fell off or cracked or whatever. And so I said, I need something where my, my stuff isn't falling in, the hair's not getting in there. And so I said, this would be perfect. And it was, I, I pushed it inside and it fit perfectly and the water brims around the top and the hair gets collected. And then after about a week or so, I'll pull it out when I'm doing my, my bathroom weekly cleaning and I'll take some spick and span or some bleach or whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm using at that moment, clean it out and pop it back in there. And so far it's been, you know, reusable. Now I can tell over a period of time, it's, you know, not gonna last forever. That's why I went ahead and picked up a second one. Great, if you got lots of times where hair is trapped in your sink, um, it's kind of disgusting. This is pretty cool. It says, never get hair clogs again. And it's um, basically a wonderful little device. I mean, it can go in the sink, it can go in your tub. Um, it says it gets every strand of hair, and I agree, it does. Now, once it's um, you're washing your face, it will kind of pull up a little bit before it drains. That's the only thing that I've noticed about it. But other than that, um, this is a pretty, pretty cool find, and I'm really glad that I bought that. Then another thing that I buy um, periodically over the years um, is this electronics duster um, spray. It works perfectly in on your computer um, keyboards, you know, um, any kind of little nook and crevice that you can find that needs to get all the little junk that gets in there. Perfect in your automobile. Um, in my car, I somehow, I don't know how I get all this dust and things in the cracks of the console. I'll take this little handy dandy thing, um, which is made by Homebright, and it's just an electronic duster, and it, you basically have a straw that comes with it. It attaches right here, you put it in here, and you spray it, and, and you can shake it up, but the can gets ice cold, so just be prepared for that, but it blows away all those little nicks, little gunky stuff inside, lots of different things. Wonderful buy. I usually keep at least a couple of these around. It goes pretty fast, so when you're using it, you know, make sure you get good use out of it. Spray, you know, quick and fast because it will go out quickly. So that's why I purchase these probably about two or three times a year and I use them on different things. Um, again, it's a, a product I know works. I've used it uh, many, many, many times and used it over the years and I recommend it to anybody. It's a good buy. Then also in the house good areas, I also needed a, I have an electric um, outlet that only has the two, two outlets, places to stick things in. And it's right where my air fryer is, the toaster. And then if I wanna come and put the mixer or whatever, it's something else that I wanna put up, a can of electric can of or whatever, there was never ever but those two outlets. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna go get one of these that has the little stick in and stick it in there. And now I have five outlets. I have the three, the one that's sticking it and then the extra one at the bottom. And that way I can put it in my air fryer and my toaster. And then I have two extra ones, the top one here and one on the bottom that's gonna be, that's underneath it once it's plugged in. And I could use them for extra little things that are going on. And this is $1. Um, I have bought these over the years. I mean, I'm not gonna say how long they last because this is the first time I've had one in, a, in a, quite a while. But this one is just a wall tap one. It's in white and it's got the three outlets in it. Um, and it is made by 
I think that says GE. Let's see. Yeah. So, I don't know. That says ETL interlock. I thought it said GE. Ha! Huh. But this is a three-pronger. And they also have one that you can sit in both your plugs. And it's actually four that comes up. I started to get one of those. But I decided at the last minute just to get the three one. Um, and we'll just be using that for now. Great find for a buck. And then last but not least in this uh, this category, um, I have a door to my closet that does it. It will never stay. If I open it up, it's going to close slowly back on its own. I don't know how it was installed, if that was it, but it always annoys me when I'm trying to do things. I need the door open and it's like it keeps falling. And I stick shoes in it and I stick socks over there or something, a box to hold it open. And when I saw this, I said, you know what? I had to look at the length, the size of it because the door is is not that tall, but I wanted to make sure it was big enough because I had actually bought some small, small ones. I think they came a two pack or a year or so ago and the door went right over them because they were not tall enough. So this one is pretty tall. It doesn't give me any inches. It just says door stopper um, by tool bench. And yeah, there's no size on it, but I went ahead and got the doors brown. So this is kind of a blacky, a dark brown color. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna get this for my door for the closet and let's hope it works. And I believe it will. I think it will. Okay, so that's the categories for the household items. I'm gonna move straight into the next category, which is going to be, I guess, party, um, birthday, kind of fun type items. And yeah, I found some cool, cool things. Number one, I bought this dry erase um, door hanger. It's a board door hanger made by Jot. And my daughter's theme for her baby shower just so happens to be like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So when I saw this, I thought, you know what, this is so cute. And you can write little notes on it. And sometimes I, I feel like I want to write a little note of encouragement or, you know, maybe, hey, leave the key or, or hey, I'll be back or something. And it's just a cute thing. Have a nice day. I don't know. I had to have 